Hello and welcome. In October 1958, physicist William Higginbotham invented the first video game. It was a tennis game similar to the classic Pong game that came out in 1917. Since then, video games have come very far even so far as to become their own sport. In today's video, I will talk about electronic sports, esports in short, and how the gaming industry has evolved over the years. Stay tuned if you want to find out more. Early gaming culture was not popular to many. Tarred as an unhealthy subculture, gaming incited a number of stereotypical images that were largely portrayed from popular television shows such as The Big Bang Theory and South Park that depicted gaming as an activity for socially inept nerds who are desensitized to the world around them. This created some stigmatization towards gaming as nobody wanted to be associated with it as it was seen as being uncool. Many parents worried about their children's attraction to gaming, imagining that they might grow up devoid of social skills and harboring warped senses of reality. Today's gaming has grown tremendously. It is even being referred to as the new pop culture due to its popularity. You no longer have to hide your gaming obsession because everybody is doing it. In fact, if you are a kid and not into games, you might just lose some of your friends as it's all kids talk about. Fortnite, Minecraft, Roblox, PUBG, you name it, it's the new cool. And with more than 2.4 million gamers around the world, it's become a culture. The very first interactive electronic game with an electronic display on record was made in 1947. It was a missile simulator game that got its concept from the radar display from World War II. The invention paved way for the creation of other games such as NIM in 1951, OXO, well known as Tic Tac Toe in 1952 and Tennis for Two in 1958 among others. The games, though entertaining, didn't make it to the public as they were too expensive and some even too complex to be enjoyed by the local man. All this changed with the introduction of the television set to a majority of the US household in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The popularity of the TV made many gaming entrepreneurs rethink their model of business. And in 1972, Ralph Baer, commonly known as the father of video games, released a console called Mangavox Odyssey that allowed the person to play these games on their TV. Atari was then invented some months after. The two paved the way for the creation of arcade games such as Space Invaders and Pac-Man and more and more video games have been released since then. Modern gaming was, however, mostly popularized by the invention of Twitch. Twitch is an interactive live streaming service for content spanning gaming, entertainment, sports, music, and more. But over the years, gaming has been the main content for Twitch users. It started from the idea of a man in his 20s living in San Francisco in 2007 to livestream his life 24-7 with a camera on his head to the internet. Whether he was sleeping, eating, doing grocery shopping or even just watching TV, people watched Justin Khan's life. He then decided to make some sort of streaming platform where anyone could stream whatever they liked and after years of ups and downs, he finally decided to major on gaming. He renamed this then site to Justin.tv to Twitch.tv and thus Twitch was born in 2011. The platform changed gaming into a lucrative career. It provided a platform for gamers to show off their skills while making money from it. For example, through viewer donations, viewer subscriptions and even through sponsorships. It didn't take long before gaming personalities turned into multi-millionaires from the platform. Today, gamers are not just for fun and entertainment. Esports has become a multi-billion business that pioneers of competitive gaming could not have imagined decades ago. Esports gaming tournaments such as the Fortnite World Cup, League of Legends World Championships and FIFA World Cup attract a huge fan base that pack arenas to watch their favorite players go head to head. Esports is dominated by teenagers and men in their 20s, but it's fair to note that it isn't biased towards one gender and that's all has welcome. Becoming a millionaire from playing games is becoming more and more common. But behind the success is a dedicated team of nutritionists, coaches and strategists who give their all to ensure the triumph of these esports teams. The industry, however, has some downsides to it. 
In order to keep up with the ever-changing environment and competitive nature of the sport, some players in a bid to improve their performances, such as reaction time and to boost concentration or even prevent fatigue, often turn to stimulants such as Adderall, Visine and Ritalin, drugs which are highly addictive. There is also a risk of burnout. Professional gamers are expected to train for hours, some even up to 16 hours a day just to keep them in good form. The long hours might have serious mental health risk for gamers. There is also the pressure on the game making companies to be constantly releasing new content that keeps the masses entertained. This may lead to overworked workers and unsustainable enjoyment for some, as many are left off with the company's objectives aren't met. So what's the future of esports? The esport industry is a highly complex environment that is continually evolving and with technology and innovation expected to tremendously improve over the coming decade, expect to see some mind-blowing and groundbreaking changes in the industry. I wouldn't be surprised to see the future esport competition entirely conduced in the metaverse. Thank you for listening. If you like the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe.